Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela, and in today's video, I have a very interesting topic to discuss. In this video, I want to discuss some bookish habits that I think the book community needs to normalize. Now, these are all personal opinions of mine, so feel free to disagree. However, I do not want to get any negative hate comments for my opinions in this video. If you disagree, please just click out of the video. We are all allowed to have different opinions and you leaving a nasty hate comment is not going to change my opinion. So please let's just keep the comment section nice and positive. There's a lot of strong opinions on some of these things and people tend to get a bit, uh, People tend to get a bit judgy if you say you do these things, but I think personally there's nothing wrong with them. So you know what, let's go ahead and get right into this discussion. The first habit that I think should be more normalized is writing in your books. This is a topic that is so touchy on booktube and in bookish communities. People get so weird about you writing in your own books and I find that so strange. I am a big believer in annotating. I love to annotate my books. There's absolutely nothing wrong if you want to write in your book, if you want to dog ear the pages of your book. That is your book, okay? And at the end of the day, books are just physical items. They're just paper, okay? Paper and glue. So to get all touchy about somebody taking their own physical item and, you know, modifying it, making it theirs, doing what feels right to them with their own property, it just, it seems so strange to me. I feel like annotating can be such a fun and rewarding, like, experience, and I just really would love to see this become more of a normalized habit on booktube and in the book community. The next habit that I would really love to see accepted more is DNFing books. I have really only just started getting into DNFing books this year. Previously, I definitely was not a DNFer. I was definitely one of those people that would read to the end no matter what because I had to know how it ended and I would oftentimes think, well, what if it gets better, you know? So I would keep going. And I really never got any value out of forcing myself through a book that I was not enjoying. I have also found that that is the number one way that I will put myself into a reading slump is if I force myself through a book that I hate, that I'm not enjoying. So I have become a very big supporter of DNFing books. I feel like once you start DNFing, it gets easier. Once you start giving yourself permission to not finish a book, I feel like it becomes easier from then on to just say, hey, this isn't giving me any value. This isn't bringing anything to my life right now. And it's a waste of my time. You know, there's so many books out there. Like, Think about it, you know, you could be reading a book that you love instead of giving that precious time that you have to reading a book that you're gonna hate. I definitely would love to see more of a push towards DNFing books. I would love to see it talked about more. I would love to see people encouraging not finishing books that they aren't enjoying more. I just really think it's such a positive thing to not force yourself through something you're not enjoying and recognizing that you don't have to finish a book. You're allowed to not finish the book. Nothing bad is going to happen if you don't finish a book. You're not a failure for that reason. And you're really just making more room in your life for things that you will enjoy and bring you, you know, bring value. The next bookish habit that I really think needs to be more normalized is reading what you want and reading for fun. There's a stigma towards people reading fluffy romances. There's a stigma towards people reading young adult books. And I am here to say that I think you should read whatever brings you joy. It's hard because I feel like what goes along with this stigma is people looking down on you for your choice in reading and you might shy away from genres, subjects that you love reading about because you think people might judge you for it or feel like it's not real reading, you know? And I just feel like that's so sad. Like, I don't think that you should judge anybody for what they like to read. 
I just think that we should allow people to read what makes them happy and not judge them if what makes them happy is not the type of genre that you enjoy reading. I think we should normalize reading books that are fun to read. And while there is a time and place for pushing ourselves to read literature that is more intellectual, I feel like there is certainly room for both. You can love your smutty romances and fluffy young adult fiction and also still love classics and literary fiction and poetry and I feel like let people live, you know? Like, let's not judge people for the, what they choose to read. Read what you want, reading should be fun, and I will never judge you for the books that you choose to read. As long as you are reading what makes you happy, then that makes me happy. The final bookish habit that I really, 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 really wish could be more normalized, and this is a huge one, okay? That is rereading books. I first off want to start by saying I know that normalizing these habits starts with me. I do not reread books as often as I should. I really want to be better at rereading books. It is very hard though, right? In this book sphere, in this publishing world of consumerism where there's always more, 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 more books constantly being pushed out. It is very hard to convince myself that it's worth my time to reread books. The book industry, like anything else, definitely has its problems with consumerism. And for that reason, it just does not allow time for us to slow down, for us to read slowly and reread books. I feel like there's always a pressure to read the new books coming out and keep track of what's coming out and have an opinion on the new releases out there. It just feels like there's no time to slow down and reread the books that you love. The books that brought you joy, brought you value, made you happy, meant something to you. I am here to make time for that, okay? I, like I said, I really want to normalize all of these habits. I want to talk about them more on my channel. So I am definitely going to make more of an effort to reread books because I have read so many books this year that I have loved, that have touched my heart and meant so much to me. And it, it's kind of sad when I think about it that I might only ever experience that thing one time because I'm so consumed and concerned with reading every single new release that ever gets published and hits the shelves. And half of them are books that I won't enjoy anyways. And this one that I did love and brought me so much value, I will never ever experience again. You know, like when you word it that way, it sounds very sad and depressing. On booktube in the bookish community, it is preferred to constantly be reading new stuff all the time, right? Like nobody, especially when you're making content, you always want to be talking about new stuff, something new. Like nobody wants to sit around and listen to you talk about a book you've already talked about before, right? And people are interested in the new releases coming out, which totally makes sense. I'm interested in that too, but I want to be better about slowing down. I want to be better about, you know, getting out of that consumerism mindset and enjoying the things that I know have brought me joy in the past and giving them my time too. That is all of the bookish habits that I had to talk about in this video. However, I would really love if you guys could leave me a comment on this video and let me know if there's any bookish habits that you want to see normalized. I would love to get a conversation going around this topic. I feel like there's so many more things out there that you know, we don't really talk about and that we do and they're perfectly fine. And I think the more that we talk about these things, the more normalized they will become. I would also love to know if any of the bookish habits that I thought of in this video, you guys also agree with me that you would like to see more talked about or represented and see more people doing them. If you have anything to add to this conversation, please feel free to leave me a comment. I would love to expand on any of these points that I had in this video with you. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.